Hello, hello, and welcome to my first vlog for August. I don't know how I will split the vlogs yet this month, but I'm at least starting one now on the 1st of August. I just wrapped up my July vlog, and right now I am still doing my favorite vlogs, so I'm still reading that for my audio and my like physical reading. So I don't really have any updates for this yet, except, I mean, I am gonna start Welcome to the Hyunnam Dong Bookshop by Wang Bo Reun, which I know I'm not pronouncing correctly, which is about to read with my friend Johanna. I think we're gonna start with five chapters today. So I am starting this today and then I will let you know what I think, but I've been very, very excited for it. And we are excited to see what I think about that. I'm totally lying, like I said, I don't have uh, anything for this vlog because I'm reading for favorite, but I am, but I'm also reading enough for favorite. I'm also reading Wheel of Time, Shorts of Twilight, which is lying, I don't even know where it's lying. I think it's only meant to be awkward. And I need to finish that before Sunday because that's when the live show is. It is the first day, as I said, and the live show is the fourth. So I have a couple of days to finish that. That is not my main audio because I listen to that with my friend. So like I have my own audio when I'm alone and then my other audio with my friend. It's, all, it's a whole thing. So that's why I didn't count them as my mains. <laughs> I'm confused of myself too, okay? So that is the ones that I can update you for in this vlog. I think I can actually read a manga now because I did finish a book at work, but for the favorite vlog. So I will do that and then I will get back to you. Apparently I have just loads of things I could tell you, but yeah. <laughs> That's what I got and happy August. And um, we should see how this month goes. Yay! School starts again soon. Yay! You wanna apologize? I just went off to ignore you for like a couple of days. Like I started this vlog the first of August and we are already on the sixth and I think like that was all I vlogged. <laughs> I don't know what happened to me, but I just um didn't feel like vlogging apparently. Step stuff has happened, as in like I went to watch Deadpool. I had ramen twice in the same week. I turned on my computer, so that was why I made that sound. Deadpool was great by the way, really liked it. And then I read some books, but like obviously not that much for this vlog but still like a couple of updates hello so i did finish for example crosswords of twilight which me and erica we had to like listen like three and a half hours in a day to finish it before the live show the live show was on sunday today we are on tuesday and like not that much happened but at the same time like this is the last long book and for some reason i appreciated stuff in this more than the first time i read it for whatever reason i actually don't know why gave it a 2.5 instead of a 2 as the first time i read it like literally like every point of view is just setting up for more stuff that i know is going to be fun later but that's just because i read later but like this book itself doesn't have that many advance but it's small moments for the different characters and it was like not enough for me to carry the story where i felt like a lot of the characters are in the same place as when the book started in a way a lot of them at least my hand cannot handle holding this camera by the way like at all <laughs> i also read as i said i was going to do on the first i read a manga and i read comic can communicate volume 8 which was called me who has communication problems and she wants 100 friends and then we go on this trip on this one it was so cute adorable love this series so much it's just so heartwarming and cute and i really really enjoyed it i'm struggling i'm struggling holding this camera just so you know and then i also since it's been so long since i updated i read enough books to read another manga <laughs> and then i read flowers of evil complete two which is like the next three volumes in flowers of evil so it will be four five and six this one follows this dude who steals this girl's gym clothes which is very creepy and weird and then it's kind of just about all of them being creepy and weird and it just takes a turn and it's really really weird and bizarre and i was gonna say problematic but it's not supposed to be good it, it, it develops in the directions you don't think it's gonna develop sushi oshimi writes really weird horror stuff that i enjoy i really liked happiness i am liking this but obviously it's weird like it's not it's not cozy but it is interesting and um, i'm having a good time if you can call it that and then after i finish that there's only two more complete flowers of evil i'm gonna read blood on the tracks by the author now i also have a update for welcome to the hyunnam dong bookshop which we are now on page i can't even find where i am at apparently I have a really bad bookmark in it. 178. By bad bookmark, I mean I'm using my receipts when I bought the book because apparently having like 200 bookmarks is not enough and then you just use your receipts. Yeah, 178. I think it's 278 pages. So we have about like 100 left. We are really enjoying it. It's so cute. It's really about um having this bookshop and like 
what I do to keep it going and like the different events I'm doing, like book clubs and book talks and like how she thinks when she's going to take in stock and how they make the coffee and like I guess like how they also are outside when they're not at work and it was just it's just so cute and adorable and as a person who works in a bookstore it's really fun to read and like have that perspective I guess in a different way because obviously my bookstore is a big one of the biggest in Norway and like a big corporation in a way and this is like more cute obviously like indie shop that has more heart in a different way and I just really enjoy the characters and they seem really nice to work there I wish I worked there I will give more updates when we're done but we, we are really really liking it it's giving a bit like Legends and Lattes why where we like go into the details of like how they run a new place just that obviously it's not fantasy <laughs> so it's different in that regard I also bought two books look I had a lot of stuff to tell you apparently I bought some with the Red Hair volume 5 because I'm actually the next manga I'm reading now after finishing three more books is Snow White with the Red Hair volume 4 so I had bought volume 5 to be prepared also my a copy of titled Creatures came in by Shannon McGuire which is the third book to Middle Game etc I got this now because I put it in my order like ages ago and then it just like took ages to ship because like it said the publisher was out of print but I finally got it and I'm happy about it I haven't actually read number two yet I don't remember what it's called Seasonal Fears something but I really enjoy middle game and I just assumed that I'm gonna enjoy the rest so I just have them all now this you know tour so they are expensive <laughs> so that's why I bought it now to like get in my discounts now i can put them over my whole file because i just had them lying around forever because i was going to update this vlog and then i never did but now we have that's all i got for you for this vlog i am hopefully soon done with my favorite vlog but then i need to read before books, book so that will be in another vlog again but life or something see you later <laughs> okay so i got a couple of books i have to show you and then i actually finished some book some book some book one book as well First of all, I got my Dark Duet trilogy, trilogy, duology from Loom Crate and it's absolutely stunning. I already opened it because I was so excited and also just look at it. This is actually the second one. They switched the colors because originally the first one is like the reddish one and the second one is blue, but they turned it around. So we have the Savage Song. It is absolutely stunning. Like the art is gorgeous. And the edges too. This was my birthday gift actually from Erica. And obviously they didn't ship out once. But I love the look for them. Like I love it. And I'm just. I've been so excited to get them. Very very excited to have them now. And then we have this. Our Dark Duet. Which is very very gorgeous. It is just such a pretty book. Like honestly. No words for they did and i really really enjoyed them as well i don't think they are my favorite shrub but still a very enjoyable shrub and the look on these are gorgeous i'm so happy i got them then we also have a package which i didn't expect to get now at all i had completely forgotten that i bought this so this is if you know you know this is like the shadow hunter runes so this is actually the kickstarter that shadow hunters had or cassandra claire had for it's a bonus book with short stories and I do believe a journal but I don't actually remember at this point like I don't remember what I'm supposed to get <laughs> but I will open it I just I'm struggling so I, you don't get to see but yeah I actually didn't even know this was shipped yet and then I got a message and I was like what is this package and then I was very surprised when I got it so here is a little package with goodies I guess we're gonna open it did I support the <laughs> shadow hunter Kickstarter, of course I did. Of course I did. I am Shadow Hunter Trash, if you didn't know. So I don't even remember what like I supported anymore, like what kind of what's it called reward I got. Here is is this a sticker? We have some Shadow Hunter sticker. I do believe Inferno Devices. This is a violin dude, so I don't know. I <laughs> I don't know. Have the cats, church and other cats that I have forgotten the name of. We had Alec and Magnus. I just have to make sure that it doesn't want to focus. It's very shiny. I feel, do you believe these are all stickers? But I didn't like it that it was that shiny. No. Oh, oh, then it focused when I was done. Oh, come on. Yeah. Very nice. And then we have some postcard art with all my babies. Oh, Jules took the photo. So we have my different babies, if you care. I love them. It's like postcards, not postcards, Polaroid pictures of my babies. And then, so your house is cursed. Greetings. 
And then there is just, I don't even know, something, a game, a quiz, something, something about like what happens if you're cursed in your house, like as a mundane. We got a Kickstarter exclusive for Wicked Powers. I did not expect that, but I open it and I am, um, I'm not okay, but such is life. And then we have, this is, this is so much journal. Oh, it's like an actual, I am, no, I don't even remember what about. Why is it upside down? So inside we have some gorgeous, gorgeous art. Is this Clary and Jace? Because she's a redhead, you know? So yeah, I don't know. And then we have, I don't even know who this is. <laughs> I'm having a moment. Uh, oh, it was more. It was more. Is it more on this side? Oh, it is so much art. It's so much art. It is basically a bullet journal. And I don't know if I will ever use this. I don't know why I added this journal in the first place. We are being sexy in here. We have people making out. Is that Matthew and someone else? And then other people making out, not making out. There is a lot of art. Oh, this is Ty and Livy. Obviously, and then um, I don't know who everyone is. It's been a while, okay? But pretty art, pretty art. Um, so that is the journal. So then we have the actual book, which is Secrets of Blackthorn Hall. I'll look at the cover. And I do believe that it's this short story. It's, it's a very pretty book with very pretty art. It's very shiny. It is stunning. This is what I wanted because I was just like, I'm giving give me all the Shadowhunter content, always. Very nice pages, very nice quality. Kickstarter edition, well, thank you. And then I do believe the first one is literally a Amma Brian to Christina. Oh, it is, is it just letters? The whole thing is letters. The whole thing is people writing letters to each other. I don't, I, I didn't read this in office at all. And I'm gonna cry because I, I don't care. Like, I don't care. I am gonna cry. Oh, what is this one page inside that is like, weird it's like a photo but i can't oh look there's the photo mid book yeah the quality is very nice and i just i heard that there was like another shadow hunter book and that is that is what i have it's a very pretty one as well and an exclusive one so that is cool but yeah i just supported this kickstarter i got some extra stuff which is fun do i have any recollection of why no do i have any recollection of doing it no but here we are and yeah so i also finished this with johanna and it was really good i it's, i can't pronounce the title so welcome to the hyunnam dong bookshop it was just so cute it was about having a bookstore and love and just running the store and it just made me very nostalgic and happy and it just was a cozy 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 book, like, as I said earlier, like, a bit in the sphere of Legends and Lattes, just like North Fantasy and Satin Korea, and it was just honestly so precious, and I just love, like, following the day to the life in this bookshop, and I ended up giving it a strong four of five stars. There is a lot of rain outside, I don't know if you can hear it, but yeah, I don't think I have any other books finished for this one, so I guess you would just see me later. I was about to go to work, and I was like, I will update the vlog later, but then I just had a few minutes, so I might as well just update it now. I um, I was going to be, I've been journaling a bit, so I had to catch up from like half of July and now I have, but I don't like most of August, but I still need to do the actual reviews and stuff, so I'm going to do that later today. I am done really early today, like three, so I have all day to do nothing after. Need to get my bangs again. I have <laughs> red snow with the red, red hair. I was about to say the white hair, volume four. It was enjoyable. It was cute. I don't think, as I said before, that I love this as much as I thought I would, but I hope to fall more in love as we go on. Romance has really blossomed in this one and it was very cute, but I was just like, wish I cared more, I guess. But it's still enjoyable, still enjoyable. Then I got a few books because I, I'm pretty sure I did not show you. Yes. <laughs> so I got The Maid and a Crocodile by John and Effie Reckle. This is set in the world of Raybearer and I've been excited for it, even though I found about it very late because I've just been not keeping up. But it just got released. I wasn't late or anything. I really, really enjoyed Raybearer. It was like a really, really good sort of YA when I read it. And the only thing I can say about this is that I'm disappointed that Fair Loot or Illumicrate did not do a special edition because I have special editions of both. But neither did. So now I have this in paperback, the other in like really cool hardbacks so it, it won't match and i'm sad about it but yeah i don't know exactly what it is about or if like it's short stories or 
what it seems to be like a story story like just in the world and i'm very excited i also got the apothecary diaries volume 3 because i'm reading one too soonish so i need to get volume 3 and then that goes the same for tokyo avengers volume 7 and 8 because i'm soon reading five and six that is how numbers work oh my god this is still lying here because <laughs> i tried to like pile the stuff i haven't talked about in one place and this was still lying here but i know that i talked about this with you guys that i said i finished it and i really enjoyed it so today we're starting a new better read me and johanna i have to get up Ugh, can i get the book without dying so we're starting something fell down on the floor but it's fine we are starting the dog good dream department store also korean by Niji Lee and um, this one seems to be like where people can get their dreams or visit dreams in this department store like place and I heard about it a few months ago but um I was waiting for it to come in this hype now in August and I've been excited to read it and I asked if Johanna wanted to read it she said yes so we're gonna read it now well as maybe I would have read it in like four years so I'm excited to see if I will join that if it seems weird and bizarre and hopefully fun and some kind of thing that we enjoy and yeah that is what i got for this but it might be more for this soon or something i don't know i'm going to work see you later hello so i realized i hadn't checked the mailbox today and then it was like pouring outside and i checked it and it was books so obviously i have to show you guys but before that i did get two days ago i did get my family volume 12 i just didn't have time to show you till now apparently and I'll probably read this in a manga night with Cecilia, the next manga night we have, if she gets a volume in time too. We have Buddy Red, I think the last two volumes, is it? Very excited to buddy read this as well. And now I have two packages. I do think that this is a manga as well. I just don't remember which one. I think maybe it's given. I'm trying to guess, so like it seems like I have control of what I have pre-ordered. Let's see. It is given! Look at me! It is given Volume 9 by Natsuki Kisu, which is the gay boy band, and I'm very excited to see where this one will go. And have I read Volume 8? I don't remember. But it doesn't really matter in this moment. And then we have a big package, which I do think is my current read, actually, if I'm not completely incorrect. So let's see. It is! It is the girl with no reflection by Keshik Chow and um, this one is my currently read for the favorite vlog but actually I didn't know it was going to be in the favorite vlog when I wanted it because I didn't know it was going to be a favorite pick until a bit later I think and then I just wanted it because I wanted it because I thought the cover was pretty I was in between this and the UK cover and I'm not getting the US one because that is the one I got the most volts from my friends and I do I'm happy with it right now I'm reading it on audio and a part of me is like did I need to buy it? Because I'm not loving it right now. But uh, I apparently have not learned my lesson to just buy a book because it is by a nation author and it is pretty. But that doesn't mean necessarily that I love the story. It is like a bit, not wet, but like, what's it called? Moist? <laughs> That's the word. This is where it's so wet outside. I might like turn because I do like parts of it. So I don't know exactly where it would develop. But as I said, those thoughts will probably be the fair the fog. But now I have my coffee. I had bought the audio because obviously I didn't have that. And um yeah so that was the books and then i will up with you whenever i have something else to say yay i'm about to film my wrap up finally for the <laughs> july so i thought i would quickly update that i also read which volume is it four yeah it is four but it is like part two nurse's revenge volume one so the numbering is a bit confusing but i am enjoying it but i just feel like the events are very random and they like don't string well together in the regard that i think it happens in one chapter i don't feel like it's naturally tra transitioning into the next one like it's kind of like we forget it like episodes that don't hang together in a tv show in a way which is a bit annoying and i just feel like there's a lot of like random stuff happening that's it's not explained well right now but i'm still enjoying like the art a lot and the characters and um, obviously i have like 25 more volumes to go so life but i'm still enjoying it and it's like childhood fave obviously but i've never read the comics that's all the thoughts i have really I need to put this somewhere so i forget to put it off now i'm gonna film my august wrap up and wish me good luck with that Yay. Okay, so I have a bit more for you. I have just been at work for a really long time and I realized that I should update this now because tomorrow I'm leaving for Oslo and I'm just bringing this vlog there because I realize it's not even that long and like I might as well just do all of August in this vlog. But I have some updates, first of all. 
I did buy another book, of course. I bought Hearts.Cat by Kika Hatsupolu, which is a sequel to Try to Start Mine, which I absolutely enjoyed so, so, so much. Because I did, I obviously wanted a sequel. I do believe, I don't know if it's a trilogy or like a uh, duology, but like, I'm so excited to dive more into the world of these characters, and I'll definitely keep it, so that's why I bought this sequel. And I'm very excited to read it. Then I also read Ringo Stray Dogs Volume 22, which in follows there on Detective Agency, where there's all these cases, and we're in the middle of this huge case, and we've been there for a long time. I did enjoy this volume a lot. We saw some characters that it's been a while since we've seen, and I am excited for the next volume. Actually, the next manga I'm going to read is Volume 23, and then actually 24 is coming later this August, so... Then I'm kind of cut off after a billion years. Very happy for myself. I also finished That'll Go to Dream Department Store, my buddy read. And I uh, didn't love it as much as I wanted it to. Like, look at it. It's super cute and adorable. And I thought the story would be cute and adorable. It is literally that you can go into this huge store and you can buy a dream as if, like, it's a dream department store. Like, literally the department store. And I got that. It was kind of like a satire and a comedy and some of the things were supposed to be touching but I just felt like it didn't like completely get my heart and it didn't it felt a bit superficial and I just like didn't fall for it completely I found it a bit boring at times but while I liked the concept a lot I wanted to be more invested in the characters and the story I think that if I had been more cozy than like what I was trying to do here I would enjoy it more because it seems to me like a cozy fun thing and I just like it didn't hit the marks for me I had gave it a treat like I liked it but like I feel like I thought I would like it much more honestly which was a bit sad but yeah I feel like that was what I wanted to say for this vlog as I said I'm leaving for Oslo tomorrow so you see footage of me traveling a bit and then the bookstore's there even though I filmed it like 400 times in the other Oslo trips that I had the last year yeah. See you then. like stairs down to my bed um which is fine obviously a nice big room we have a chest i can hide a body in and then we have like this little cute work desk and then here's me and we're greasy we're sweaty let's look at the bathroom which is always exciting small cute an actual shower this time nice we love to see it Stair review. Oh, that was a creaky stair. But is there a view? Last time I looked right at the library. But we are looking into at this. Ow, I guess that's actually like the station. Can they see me from here? I don't know. But we are just doing this. I'm never opening that curtain again. Three nights in here. I'm sweaty and warm. I'm probably going to go to the bookstore now. I just need to pee and wash my face or something. Hey! Thank you. 
So I have like not talked to you since I got here, like when I introduced you to my room and then I filmed bookstores. I went to Prismatic Pages as you might have seen those last books I was in, which was like an indie one and they always have English books, which is really fun. And I have used books as well, so I always have to support that store. But the first day in the first like big stores, I did get two books, which I, I was planning to show you like days ago, but I didn't. I got oh my god, I have candy and I completely forgot about it. Wow. Good for me. But I bought in the first store, I bought Family Law by Acevedo, which is by the uh Elizabeth who I really enjoy. Um I have read this on audio and like it's not my favorite of hers, but I still want to own it because like I still love her books and I still like I still enjoyed it for what it was and I would like read it again, I think. So obviously I am trying to buy physically what I know I will keep and I know I wanted this one. I just had kind of forgotten it came in the height I wanted. I bought Land of the Lustrous on Outland, which is volume 11, the next one I need to buy. I think the next manga I need to read is Bungo Stradios and then it's Land of the Lustrous, so volume 10 after that. So this would come, like, be my next manga. And they had it in stock here in Oslo and London, Bergen, so I thought I would buy one out here. And then today, I did, yeah, Interview with a Vampire by Anne Rice, which I never read, and I'm very excited for. This is for my uh, thesis, so I'm very excited to see if i would like it i also got another volume of one piece sorry things are falling which like i'm not on 64 65 66 yet but it is the one, next one i need to like buy so i just did it now when they have it in stock etc so happy about that and then at uh, prismatic pages which was the indie one i did get city of last chances by adrian Tchaikovsky and he was here in uh, Oslo when I was not here obviously but he signed this in person so I thought it was a bit cool and I have children of time but haven't read it but I have a feeling I'm gonna enjoy it but this is his fantasy so I thought it would be interesting to have like his fantasy because I don't know I wanted to read this anyway I hope I like it so I will keep but like I thought it was cool since he said it in person and I really wanted to support that store so I did get this one as well and then I did also buy some stickers at ARC uh, the one before Prismatic Pages and yeah, that is all the books I've gotten. So overall, five books. I might get some more at the airport tomorrow, but I haven't decided. But yeah, I'm going home tomorrow, and I'm just going to relax for the rest of the evening and do absolutely nothing. Yay! Okay, so I am home. <laughs> I did film the plane for a bit, and I just, like, didn't talk to you at all. And I am sorry, because I just... The whole vlogging thing is <laughs> a lot for me right now. Either way, I'm very stressed. But I'm good. Didn't talk to you about a few things, so that's why we are here. I got this right before leaving and didn't show you. This is Army by Esther Jones, Guardians of Dawn 2. I got the last one last year in the Loom Crate, and then I just got the sequel to obviously match the first one. It is absolutely stunning. And the last time when I opened the first one, I didn't show you the underneath, which is basically just anime or manga, we can call it. It's just a gorgeous book. Um, I am very excited to have the matching sequel i haven't even read the first one if i even like that one but like the vibes speaks to me so hopefully i will very much enjoy it when i was on Oslo as well i did read korean by jade song i listened to the audiobook on this and this is not for like anything else for any other vlogs so i was just like oh my god a book i can talk about in this vlog and i was planning to talk to you about it in Oslo because i finished it the first day i was there i don't know i just didn't but here we are so korean is a book where we have main character who basically finishes a mermaid and then it's more about like swimming and swimming like professionally and like how that kind of destroyed her in a way but how she's obsessed with water and like that she's mermaid and then she also has a friend who's in love with her and there's like a whole dynamic between them and then we do get hints of like a certain I guess darker future and then we go back in time to like to see how they ended up in that future. I feel like it's a bad way to explain the book because like it gave so much more. The weirdness in this one was super super bizarre. It's a really really long bloody scene in the end where I was like feeling very very uncomfortable. I feel like it should warrant a trigger warning but I don't even know like what the, even to call that trigger like honestly i don't know but there is like an author's note in the beginning that says that please note these pages contain discussions and in instances of racism misogyny self-harm eating disorders homophobia depression and sexual violence which is very true that one scene i just don't know it was a very well written book that brought up so many of these different things I just talked about. And it was just so good. I really, really enjoyed the writing. I enjoyed the atmosphere. I did audiobook it though. But I just bought this like a few months ago. Because I saw this cover and I thought it would look nice. 
and then I only booked it now for this better read and it was just so good I really really enjoyed it I'm very excited to see what the author can write next it was weird but just the way like the atmosphere of the story and the writing and like the relationships between the characters the author just managed to do all that so well and have so many themes and subjects in the story subtly but also bringing them up here and there like so good I give it a strong four out of five very enjoyable and I got to talk to you about one book, which is great. We are on the 25th of August, so there's still a few days left. I feel like, in a way, there was more stuff I wanted to show and do with you. I just... <laughs> I just... I just became, like, the worst vlogger in the whole world. Which is fine. It's fine. Oh, oh, I had more. I had more. I am starting The Shadow of What Was Lost by James Islington. Islington. I'm starting tomorrow. It's another brother read with Johanna. And we are going to read this chunker. So, obviously, I'm not going to finish that in August. But I'm very excited to see... What I would think about it. I'm excited to read it. You're starting tomorrow. And The Will of the Many is my favorite read of the year. And one of my favorite books I would call it of all time. I have heard th that this is really good. But I don't know if it's good as The Will of the Many. But I have high expectations since it is from the same mind. So I'm very, very curious to see how I will feel about this. And I hope I will love it as much. Or not. Maybe not as much. Because I don't see that happening. But like on the same scale. Then... I will be very happy. So obviously I will let you know what's going on. Do I know the plot? Absolutely not. I just know I want to read it. And I will let you know what happens with that. Yay. Okay, so yesterday I did read some more manga. So I thought I will show you now before I forget. And it passes like another week. So I did read Blue Stardust Woman 23. I feel like I read 22 in this vlog, right? I should have had. Continuing the story, we got to see more of my favorite character again. So I'm very happy about that. And I'm excited four more even though 24 actually came out this month i feel like it was six days ago so i feel like it should be on its way and then i think it's like one volume a year but i caught up after being behind for like four years because i've been behind since i was in japan <laughs> and i came home from japan in 2020 and me in 2024 so that is four years ago yay and then i also read land of lustrous volume 10 by haruko ishikawa so this is like about the crystals that live in, on the planet and gets attacked by the Lunarians over and over. And now we're like far beyond that, which is exciting because we were kind of in the same thing for a long time. I don't really know what's going on right now. The story is very bizarre and weird and I have no idea what's going on. I like it still, but I'm just waiting to kind of like see where we conclude. This also just have one volume a year and I do have volume 11 and I do believe 12 is also out maybe or it's coming very soon. So like I'm all catching up slowly, but since it's only one volume a year, we'll be fine. But those were the two I read because I could read those since I read when I was in Oslo but didn't have any manga with me so I just read it for that. I'm starting Shadow of What Was Lost today. I'm still reading books for Spiffball which is going terribly because... <laughs> well, first of all, I'm not doing it very fast and then second of all, it's just not as fun but it's fine. I also got to just guys in 123 in the mail. I'm not reading this now, I haven't even read 22 but I thought I would show you because that's what this vlog is for. And I feel like there was nothing else I wanted to show you. This is lying here from yesterday. I need to move them over. That, that's what's going on. I, I need to throw some trash out now because don't look in the back. See you later. <laughs> uh, it's of course been a few days and today is the last day of August. So the last day maybe you will see me. I might say goodbye tomorrow. I honestly don't know. I have a couple of updates but I feel like I should have updated you before. But such is life. Such is life. Oh, sorry. I'm about to leave for work and I need to really return a book. So... I just need to put it over here so I will remember. But I did read something. I read Tokyo Revengers Volume 5 and 6. Did enjoy, but I am a bit confused with all the characters. Even though, like, I am enjoying the story overall. But if I was this dude that I can travel, is it 12 years back in time? And I just tried to stop, like, so many cares for, for being, I was gonna say, murdered. So, we're doing that. And um, I'm just a bit confused. I also got obviously a couple of new books so i thought i will show you very fast <laughs> we have one punch man volume one which i bought together with haiku volume one i bought it from one of my co-workers who want to get rid of them and i got it really cheap and i also like i was gonna say supporting her and getting rid of them so like she didn't know what to do with them and i was just like well i can take a few and then she sent me a photo and those were the ones that i didn't already have I'm not starting those series at once because I have so many on my list. So I just, I knew I wouldn't need to start them one day. So I just have the first volumes for now. And then when I'm actually starting series, it is obviously great to have volume one. <laughs> then I have Crypto Ilsha, which is like Fire Sea. This one is like a Norwegian children's comic, which I am kind of reading, but I only read the first one, but I really enjoyed it and I'm collecting the rest. 
and then we have my dress up darling William 11 which I am reading tan soon and I'm the same goes with Lord Olympus volume 5 and I'm reading 4 soon and now I can finally take this over in my whole pile because they were just lying on my desk taking lots of space but that wasn't it because I went to this publisher event thing through work where they have like the follower talking about the upcoming books for the season and I'm at the of authors I posted it on Instagram yesterday I thought it was really cool because the authors I'm at was cool and I felt cool and posted a picture which you can check on my Instagram got a few things if you're interested with authors etc but I obviously got free books there because that's kind of half the point so I will show you those I got Ole Kuka which is like Ole is cooking this one dude this one dude he was super nice but he was there so now i have this signed and i don't have cookbooks it's not a thing i get but now i need to keep this one and actually some of the stuff here looks really really good i just don't follow cookbooks but i might try to make some of this and see if i really enjoy it because obviously i do enjoy cooking i just like i'm lazy so yeah and then i have that weekend gang which means where you once walked by marcus jarl he was also there such a nice guy this is translated from swedish and the same title goes in swedish and then obviously he signed it so now i can never get rid of this either and he was like the nicest person ever so there's that then a bit of a celebrity i would say just because i've known about her for so long she sells so well in a way i never thought i would meet her is santa montefiore which she writes like I was going to say latest novels, but I read a few and I did enjoy them. And this is her newest one. And then uh, I got this sign too, so now I can never get rid of this one either. And she was just so nice. So nice. Obviously, like, I would say not my favorite genre, but the ones I read, I did enjoy. So there's that. And then I got the newest by Jan Lierholst and Erik Fjell. Jan Erik Fjell, sorry. Which means the scream or skrike. This is like Nordic noir crime stuff, which is like, you know, my least favorite genre. But now I can read this because I'm really curious about it. This collab and it's like a podcast than like anything else. Like he has a true crime podcast. Maybe I would enjoy that more than like a direct like detective, if you know what I mean. And then obviously I got it signed by uh, Jon Lierholz who was also there which was a bit like a celebrity moment for me. I was like oh my god he is so popular. <laughs> and um, yeah he was also very nice. And then I got two other books that like I'm unsure because I feel like I need to keep those because I got them signed. But I have two here that like is Une Lindel who she writes uh, like also crime and I don't know like if I bother because you don't need to read them in order but there's others in this series and I don't know if I have the energy to get through those because of the genre and this one is Annabelle Ragde who's like a lady that gets a stroke and uh, then her life after that and I heard about this author a lot but I never read anything by her I am curious initially to like read one book by her will I read this one I don't know I might give these to my mom I haven't decided yet but <laughs> I'm keeping the signed ones at least. I feel like that was it. No, I have a whole package. Also, I have a new phone. I want to show you that too. Oh my god, do I need to leave? No, we, we are good. So I got the new flip. I love it. People, when I show like every time I take off my phone, I'm just like, everyone's like, oh, it's so funny. But yeah, I set it up yesterday night when I was supposed to be reading, but I set up my phone instead after having an exhausting and long day in general but uh yeah i'm um, so far so obviously the upgrade is nice because the last one was but yeah a uh, new phone very nice they didn't have purple but i bought like a purple what's it called case so that it would kind of be purple i guess even though i have the blue so i have a loom crate this might be the monthly book who knows Yeah, it is. Sorry, I was so confused what I was saying. But it is the monthly for, is it August? This was on my most anticipated releases. So when I saw that they were doing it, I also just wanted a special one. I got it yesterday and just totally forgot. It is Mistress of Lies by KMN, right? I'm struggling with the word K in English. I feel like we read one of the books by the author for Crazy Yes. I might be completely wrong in thinking about another author. This has ace characters and trans characters. It has a beautiful spread edit. Or does it have ace characters or only trans characters? Or both? <laughs> I don't remember. 
Oh my god, look at it. Oh my god, look at it. It is gorgeous. I love it. I am actually very excited for it. But can I find out the author's other books? Because now I feel like I was thinking of it's completely wrong. But I, I am excited for it. But like, is this the same author? Oh, new phone. Where is the uh, apps? It is like a whole thing when you get a new phone. <laughs> Yeah, 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 we permit that. Let's see. Mistress of Lies. This, this is the first book by this author. And I just I just thought that this was another author the whole time. That is even more exciting, honestly. Now I'm very, very excited because I thought... I feel like I mixed up something at a point. I don't remember what I was mixing up. But I was thinking about A.M. Strickland, is it? Strickland who wrote In the Ravenous Dark, and I thought that this was the same author, which is why I was, I don't know why I was thinking that, because that was what we read In the Ravenous Dark for Crazy Guys. But it's completely different people. <laughs> I don't know what was going on. <laughs> um, But now I'm even kind of more excited for this, because that is even more exciting, and it's stunning. And I just know it's very queer, and I cannot wait. So now, you know, I have this one. And now, what time is it now? Oh my god, I should go. Okay, well, thank you. Nice chatting. I will say goodbye to you later if I have any more updates for this really long, hopefully long August vlog. Honestly, but also, like, I have three videos to edit and I have not edited a single one. So we are in a bit of a trouble. Sorry, I'm trying to find my camera thing. And now I don't know where I put that either. In my pocket? I don't know, but see you later. <laughs> I really wanted to sit outside because it was so nice. And now it's just impossible to find a place where it's just not shit. <laughs> But if I do it like this, is that better? Oh god. So, last day was yesterday. We are on the 1st of September. But I thought I would say goodbye and all that. I have a couple of reading updates. But I think I would just do them in the September vlog. Because, like, it's more relevant. Even though I did start some of these yesterday. I don't know how this vlog turned out. I did have also a trip. I had some updates throughout the month, mostly manga, because I read for other stuff. I'm very stressed about a lot of things I need to do. But you should see how that goes in the September vlog. So thank you so much for watching this, and you should see me soon in a new video. Leave a... What's an August emoji? Kind of like, I don't even know, like a five emoji down below or something, since I flew or something. And <laughs> you should see me soon. Goodbye! Okay,